We're the Armed Attorneys. We come to you under tragic circumstances and on the heels of a mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. It's important though that we as law-abiding gun owners discuss this incident because the gun grabbers are already calling for increased gun control. But we know that that won't solve the problem and as we'll discuss, the shooter in this case at least violated 49 different laws which seem to not impact his desire to commit a mass act of evil. Now we heard from Senator Chuck Schumer who said that we needed to change the background check requirement. The shooter, suspected shooter in this case, passed a background check. And I don't know how changing the background check requirement would have prevented him. He had zero criminal history and no gang affiliations. But going back to that number, 49 different crimes, it just goes to show that more gun laws do not solve the issue. And I'm gonna go through these one by one so that we know exactly what took place. The shooter committed an act of aggravated assault, Texas Penal Code 22.02. That's when you commit an assault and use or exhibit a deadly weapon or cause serious bodily injury. When he attacked his grandmother. When he left his house, he committed the act of disorderly conduct by carrying his firearms in a public place in a manner calculated to alarm. Now, I'm throwing this in here because there has been some suggestion that he had a handgun on his person. And I have to mention this because if he did have a handgun on his person, he was not lawfully carrying in public either under the authority of Texas constitutional carry or he's not eligible for a Texas license to carry. So either way, he would be unlawfully carrying a handgun in public if that was the case. But let's assume from this point forward, he just had a long gun, a rifle or rifles. We know that he broke the federal gun-free school zones law under 18 USC 922Q because he carried within a thousand feet of the grounds of a school and did not fall into one of the exceptions. He also violated the Texans weapons free zone law which says if you commit an unlawful carry crime or weapons crime within 300 feet of a school it increases the punishment range he broke the texas prohibited places law that's 4603a1 by carrying into the premises of a school and he committed at least 22 acts of deadly conduct by discharging a firearm at the direction of a person his grandmother and the students who tragically lost their lives. Finally, he committed at least 21 acts of murder, killing 19 children and two teachers. That's 49 different weapons crimes and assaultive crimes that had no effect on the shooter and his stopping his act of evil. So when we hear the left call for more gun control, gun confiscation, more registries, background check requirements, increasing age limits, how many more crimes or how many more times would we have to have criminalized the acts of this insane person before it would have affected them. And we all know the answer. None of these laws have any effect on someone intent on committing evil. As you see in this case, there were a ton of laws implicated and all were disregarded. But we have to discuss it because when we hear these calls for gun control, we have to educate those people who think that there is a one size fits all solution that would prevent every single scenario. Now, this video is not monetized, but we do ask that you spread this message by sharing this video to educate law-abiding citizens to guard themselves and have the knowledge to fight against the gun grabbers who will irrationally call for the infringement of our Second Amendment rights. Until next time, we're the Armed Attorneys.